Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert. So let's talk chronic silent inflammation. Now, they're calling this a killer. They, being the medical world, are calling this a killer. And it is, it's deadly dangerous. So, but what is it? And what does that word silent mean? Well, really what it is, is chronic inflammation, but without pain. So yes, you can have inflammation without pain. So be, being able to register pain requires you having special receptors, NOC receptors as they're called, in the tissue which is inflamed. Now, not every tissue in your body has these receptors. So in your organs, in your blood vessels, etc., they do not register pain or they do not take the impulse, send it to the brain where it will be registered. So it's silent because it doesn't hurt. So unlike the more acute inflammations where you become very aware of the pain and other symptoms as well, it's, it's swelling, it's maybe red, it's maybe hot, we don't even see these, do we? We don't, if it's inside the body, we don't see that it's swelling. We don't feel it's necessarily hot. So it is well and truly silent. And this is deadly, absolutely deadly, and is the root cause for many symptoms. Now, because, oh, sorry, many diseases. So because we don't know it's there, we don't do anything to get rid of it. We don't do anything to decrease the inflammation. So as time goes by, disease develops. And then it seems quite sudden, doesn't it? That suddenly we have this disease where we didn't really suddenly get it, but because we were not aware of the inflammation. So this me makes testing very, very, very important. So at the very least, you want to have a look at the article down there called measuring inflammation. But at the very least, you want to get off to your docs and ask them to measure inflammation. So one of the classic uh, tests that they will do is called CRP, C-reactive protein, which um, will indicate the level of inflammation that you have in your blood, in your body. So we need to get that one checked at the very least. But there are other tests which would also be beneficial because if your CRP isn't high, it doesn't mean to say you don't have inflammation, but it's not registered in that way. There could be other ways that your body is going to tell you that there's inflammation. So have a look at those, um, that article called Measuring Inflammation is very, very important. And at the same time, have a look at that one called Chronic Silent Inflammation. So you are aware that uh, it can be deadly, dangerous. Happy hormones, happy life.